Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now February 11th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans have been very curious about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this served as a foundation to create new Star Wars lore. J.J. Abrams talked about this, that this was their first big attempt at really creating new Star Wars material modeled after the Expanded Universe, and also introducing some of George Lucas's abandoned ideas. Now, the thing about the future of Star Wars after Episode 9 is going to be quite a difficult task for Disney in order to do this, because it's going to not only also be modeled after the MCU, but it's also going to be modeled after the old expanded universe. And what I mean by how it's going to be modeled after the MCU is that all these stories are going to interconnect with each other and are all going to tease of what's to come next or what happens beforehand. Now, the thing, the thing that Lucasfilm is really trying to do at the end of the day is that they're trying to really satisfy the fans. They're trying to reunite the Star Wars fan base in order to make the fans very happy for Star Wars as a whole after the disappointment with the sequel trilogy. A lot of fans were very upset with The Last Jedi and even quite a bit with The Rise of Skywalker. Now, moving on to the new Star Wars universe, a lot of fans have been very confused exactly what the future of Rey holds, right? Exactly what's going to happen with this character in the Skywalker bloodline. Now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently done with the Star Wars sequel trilogy, they are moving on to their new Star Wars universe that is set to create a library's worth of Star Wars stories for the fans around the world. Now, it's noted that this plan by Disney and Lucasfilm is to not only expand the events after Episode 9, but everything that comes in between the films and even before. Now, one of the big stories that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently working on is a story that will focus on Rey Skywalker after the, after the events of Episode 9, and her restarting the Jedi Order that is due for release sometime in 2021. Now, it's explained that this story will also explore the children that Rey has and how she will raise them to also become Jedi, where it's explained that one of her children will be the new Skywalker that Disney and Lucasfilm are currently working on to keep the Skywalker legacy alive after the events of Episode 9, and that currently this character is going under the name of Quint Skywalker. Now, this character is said to be introduced sometime in 2021 that will continue the Skywalker bloodline by Disney and Lucasfilm, and that they are trying to do is actually emulate what the old EU did, with Luke having a son named Ben Skywalker, and that this is said to be a parallel of just that, and how the Child of Rey will be a part of this new Jedi Order that will be explored in the new Star Wars universe, where Disney and Lucasfilm are said to be in a phase of developing these stories and interconnecting them all together for the fans that will be modeled after the MCU as well. So the thing about Star Wars right now is that we do know that this, you know, universe is really going to kickstart everything that comes after Episode 9 and also everything that is in between these Star Wars movies of the Skywalker Saga and everything beforehand. Now the thing to me that's really interesting about this is that there's going to be a handful of fans that really are not going to like this idea. There's also another handful of fans that are going to support this idea. Now, in case you guys haven't been following me since my review of The Rise of Skywalker, you will know that one of the big things that I really disliked about the film was how Rey actually called herself Rey Skywalker at the very end of the movie. That was the one big complaint that I really had for Episode 9, is that she calls herself a Skywalker even though she's not connected to that bloodline. Now, one would argue that, you know, yes, she's only honoring the Skywalker legacy, and some people may feel it's the right thing to do, for Disney and Lucasfilm, and that's fine. Anybody has their own opinion on things. But uh, for me to continue the Skywalker saga, the fact that they're trying to develop a new Skywalker that is actually going to be connected to Rey, it has to be written well, it has to be done in the right way by Disney and Lucasfilm for these future stories in the forms of comics and books and novels, etc. And I think what they're really trying to do, obviously, is that they're trying to live up to the old expanded universe. In the old expanded universe, Luke Skywalker had a son named Ben Skywalker, and then after that we had descendants of the Skywalker lineage. We had characters like Cade Skywalker and more, which were of course a part of the Star Wars Legacy comics. So the thing about Star Wars overall, like I say guys, I mean you can see that Disney and Lucasfilm, they are taking big risks here in order to really establish the core characters and to expand everything that comes after Episode 9. 
This is going to be a parallel to what happened after the release of Return of the Jedi, where they started making stories that took place after Return of the Jedi and, you know, Luke Skywalker's life after that movie. So, it's going to be an interesting, you know, ride to see how Disney treats the Star Wars universe and the franchise moving forward and exactly where that's all really going to go, right? When you think about Star Wars, you always think about the Skywalkers, and it just seems like that they're trying to latch on to that, and now their only choice to do that is through the character of Rey. Now, of course, we went over this a couple of weeks ago, is that they're also looking to expanding the character of Luke Skywalker having a son and the tragedy, and the tragedy of his son that will explain as to why he's not seen in the movies, so seems like they're trying to resurrect Luke's son in the new EU as well. So, with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.